sound. Check, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. Ready, action. Hello, I'm Timmy Curran, and you're watching Surfline's Trick Tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the all ears. Ain't it nice in the sunshine, baby? The ocean looks familiar, mirrors of your love. The Ollie Oop, well, um, the first one I did was about 14 years ago, and the inspiration for me was just watching guys on a half pipe and the rotation they were doing, it just looked so smooth. The best ways for doing Ollie Oops for me is, you know, head high, a little bit overhead, and when the wind is a little bit onshore, so it's blowing from behind the wave onto the beach, and that way when you hit it, the wind will actually keep the board connected to your feet. That makes it a lot easier. The best part of the wave for an all oop could either be the end or the very beginning of a wave. And you just want the wave to be kind of breaking like this. So when you do the all oop it kind of pushes you out towards the beach. I think if you do them too early, it's really hard to get back in the wave. A lot of times you're gonna land in the back of the wave. So you want the wave just about breaking and and time it right, and then that'll help you get back into the wave. So as you're going down the line, you're gonna be looking for that section that's just about to kind of break, and you wanna time it to where the wave is just about right here. And so when you bottom turn, you come up and you do it, and that way the wave will push you towards the beach a little bit. You do a counterclockwise Air 360, which is opposite of a normal Air 360. As you're kicking your tail up, you want to be kind of turning your shoulders back around and already looking for your landing pretty quickly. And that, that'll get your board and your body in the right place for the landing. You know, once you get the rotation, you just want to be as low as possible. A lot of times if you're standing too straight up, it's hard to keep your balance. To maximize your height doing the alley-oop, you're going to want to have as much speed as possible. And once again, timing is everything. If you do it at the perfect timing, it's going to throw you up into the air and you get a good rotation and could very well pull one off. Practice, you know, it doesn't just come overnight, you know. A lot of times, for myself, it takes trying 50 or 100 airs before I pull one. And uh, so just keep trying, never give up.